Well, folks, we want to welcome you back to the Turning Stone Classic 31. We are coming to you live from the Turning Stone Casino and Resort in Verona, New York. You are watching the Josh Northeast Nine Ball Tour finale. And there's another one coming up in August. And if you want to participate, I suggest you get your entry fee in real fast. We're about to get underway with a hot seat match. Jeremy Sosi, the a.k.a. the Giant Killer, playing, I like to call him, instead of South Dakota Kid, I like to call him Captain America with the winning shot in the Moscone Cup team. I know it's a team effort, but Shane came with that shot, getting us the cup. And I'll tell you what, he's got the shirt on right now. Shane Van Boning, a.k.a. South Dakota Kid. Going to be right here on your main table. want to thank uh, a bunch of folks before we actually get started. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tongue-tied. I was just talking with Mike Zuglin on the side. I want to thank Simona's Cloth and Aramith Balls, the best equipment you could use in the world, right there on your screen. And if your pool room is not rolling with... Simona's cloth on the table or Aramith balls suggest that they get it. And if they don't know how to get it, they can get in touch with me, and I will definitely hook them up with the right direction on how to go about it. Simona's cloth and Aramith balls. Quick Slick, the latest tool. It's the smallest tool you put in a pouch of your pool case for your shaft maintenance. You can purchase yours from BilliardEngineering.com. Uh, Mr. Thomas Grimaldi and family, four generations in a the business, they will build you something like this, if not better, uh, whatever you wish. Uh, they have designers and put things together that will make you drool. It's tgrimaldibilliards.com. They're located on Long Island. I say search out Thomas Grimaldi on Facebook, and uh, you will see a lot of the finished work that's right there on his Facebook page. It's really something to see. I suggest you do that. And if you want a game room, those are the guys to go to. Uh, MBQs, uh, Mike Burton is here. He's on premises. He does have Josh Q's uh, in his booth. He's still open. They'll be open w up to the finals. Uh, if you're looking for a Josh Q, whether it be a new one or an old one that you're comfortable with, uh, go to MBQs. Dot com, tell them we sent you. We want to say thank you to the Ankanatis. The boy, am I getting tired. The An <laughs> Greg Antonakis and his family. Uh, Greg's motto is get your Southwest from the best. Contact Greg at GA9Ball at gmail.com or on Facebook. Search his name out and you'll see uh, so many people uh, dealing with Greg Antonakis. It's uh, astronomical. He's uh, one of the good guys, like I say, personal friend also. Uh, Light-systems.com. This is the LED lighting uh, that's taking the world by storm. Uh, you can go to lite-systems.com or on Facebook, Light Systems Inc. I-N-C uh, on Facebook, and that's their Facebook page. Uh, that's all LED lighting. Mr. Fong is here also. The kings of vapor.com for all your vaping needs. They're across the eastern seaboard. Uh, make sure for all your vaping needs, you go to the kings of vapor.com. In view, okay, billiard product reviews give you a little information. It's honest, unbiased reviews of all things billiards to inform you and educate. Uh, these guys, they uh, actually, it's a nonprofit organization. They uh, buy their own products and they put the products through rigorous tests. Uh, it's billiardproductreviews.com. Baltimore City Cues, they sponsor a lot of pool players. They got a big, huge booth up at the front. As soon as you walk in the Turning Stone event room, uh, these guys, they move anything to your location from tips to tables. It's BaltimoreCityQs.com. We want to thank uh, John Barton and Karen family uh, from JB Cases. Uh, if you're looking for a case, these are the sponsors that are really doing things behind the scenes. And they're not just a logo. These are human being folks. And uh, it's all about survival, as we all know. And John Barton is bringing his cases uh, so that your custom cue can survive, whether you're flying or driving. Uh, go over to jbcases.com and purchase yours right there. Uh, Lights Out Billiards Apparel. Uh, this is Jake Lawson. He has a very unique taste. And uh, when he came on the market, I was like, crazy. I couldn't believe how much the billion industry is changing and it, it's changing uh, 
for the better. And, and Jake's came up with these unique designs. Uh, make sure to go over there and visit his website and also uh, tell him we sent you. You get 15% off up until the end of the Turning Stone uh, event, plus free shipping in the Continental USA only, uh, courtesy of Lights Out Billiards Apparel. KamuiTips.com, uh, uh, John Bertone and family. Uh, KamuiTips.com, you can purchase your Roku chalk, uh, also any other Kamui product right at their store. So we want to thank Kamui. Uh, Josh Q's LTD, um, is Mike Zuglin's main sponsor. Uh, guys, all these sponsors uh, that we're mentioning here are people that stand behind us and keep us going along with yourselves. Uh, you guys have been sending in donations and supporting us, and we appreciate every single one. Uh, even if you haven't sent in a donation, just the, uh, to share the information that's going on in the pool world, uh, to let everybody know what we're doing, and not only us, everybody that's trying to help out, uh, really means a lot. Uh, but the donations and the support, is they're really heartfelt uh, by myself. Uh, we also want to thank Zuat. Uh, he's the uh, real estate uh, agent up in uh, the greater Boston area. He's a management firm, and you can make some serious money uh, with Mr. Zuad. I keep pronouncing his name wrong. I, I don't believe it's Zuad. It's Zuad. Uh, S-U-A-D. He's a great guy, and I apologize. I, it's not only your name. I make mistakes with my own name. Uh, but there he is. Uh, get in touch with him with that phone number. Make some serious cash. We want to thank Chalky Sticks. You know, there's a lot of... People talking about chalky sticks and not only talking about chalky sticks in the States, they're now going worldwide and people are talking about them whether you're in Rome or whether you're on the other side of uh, Zimbabwe. Uh, if they got internet service, uh, chalky sticks is stretching out and they're finding that pool table that might be in somebody's backyard. And uh, if you want to locate a pool room or if you want to use the diagram on the pad, uh, or watch uh, Pool and Billiards 24 hours a day. It's ChalkySticks.com. Sticks. Mike Suglin's on his way down. Okay, so Tommy Tokov and Petri got fifth, sixth. Also, folks, uh, just uh, want to mention uh, Mr. Pat Fleming and AccuStats will be heading down to Derby City Classic. It's a nine-day tournament. It's an early bird special. It's up on the accu-stats.com website. Nine days of pool for $79. And here comes Mike Zuglin. multiple winner on our tour. He 
and one is our, excuse me, he has uh, been our tour point champion many times in the past. He doesn't get out to the, too many of these big tournaments, but when he does, he is a force to be reckoned with. He had a second place finish here. Jeremy Saucy, right there. The Giant Killer versus the South Dakota Kid, the hot seat match right here, up close and personal, folks. As Mike Zuglin exits, I'm going to mute his audio, just in case somebody at home doesn't know these players. Shane Van Boning is on your right, on your screen, and Jeremy Sosi is on your left, lagging for the break. Shane Van Boning wins the lag once again. This is a race to nine. This is a hot seat match, which means the person that gets defeated in this match is not eliminated, okay? Just in case somebody's out there that doesn't know. Okay, I got some work to do behind the scenes. Uh, where is Mike Howerton? I thought Mike Howerton would be down here. And I guess not. Uh, but we got Alex Brokovich in the wings. Take it away. How you doing, guys? I had to take some rest before uh, coming in and uh, helping out. Uh, amazing matches. Uh, the the two matches they just finished. Uh, the Dennis Grabe and uh, Petri uh, Makanen uh, was, <laughs> to say the least, uh, uh, very exciting uh, to watch and do a couple of moments where nobody knew how the match was going to end. Um, now, we have this uh, hot seat match. Jeremy Sosi, Shane Van Boning, just sit back and relax and enjoy the show. First break. the one table is pretty much open if he when he makes uh, two he's almost uh, naturally on the, on a three ball so should be a fairly straightforward rack Shane was practicing before this match uh, on this table, and I saw him break, and he had almost exact break like the one you saw. So this is not an accident. This is not luck. The guy practices virtually all the time that he's not fishing or not playing in the tournament. Very admirable really dedicated to his job and this is a job for them see he decided not to force the issue and play the four ball or five ball it Sorry, I'm, I may be mistaking some colors, so don't get too riled up over it. Two all in a row, four, five, and seven. So now, nice and simple, very relaxed. He's playing very relaxed, as you can see. I wish we could play like that. Nice. One on the on the board. So is Jason Shaw. It's wonderful that we can see two matches at the same time, and one is almost as clear as the other, or just clear. I mean, the new equipment just rocks here. So. Uh, Big kudos to Al. He uh, 
he has done a fantastic job. He really uh, puts his time and his money into this equipment. So um, everybody who uh, over these few days and before uh, donated to Al's uh, stream, uh, um, big thank you and uh, keep supporting him. He is doing an amazing job. Like he works for the tournament tirelessly. Like the week of the tournament, he he gets very little sleep and it's all work making sure you get this kind of picture. Look at it. It's like uh, you can study colors by this picture. Thank you, Alex. Uh, Shane Van Boning, uh, one nothing here. We're going to, to nine. Alex Brokovich is a real big supporter. Uh, he always has been, uh, always donating his time uh, voluntarily um, putting it in. He travels on his own dime and comes up and rents his own room and comes down and uh, really uh, sits in the booth and does what he does best. Uh, tell you guys uh, about the match. Uh, nobody is perfect. Our booth is open to everyone and uh, we love how having Alex Brokovich in the booth with us. Shane Van Boning on the one ball. The three balls on the left side of your monitor just by the break spot. Is that the two, bro? No, no, there is no. No, two. he's going for the he three. Made he the made two. the two. Okay, so Shane Van Boning on the three, the six, the five, the five, six, and eight uh, in a row up there actually do go in pockets, uh, but you got to play to the short side of the five ball, and that's what Shane's looking at now. He's looking at bringing the cue ball somewhere in the middle, right between the two side pockets, to have that angle to good pocket the four in the bottom right hand corner and come to the left side of the five yeah coming to the to that side is uh, a perfect a little um, bit a choice, little bit funny he's gonna have to punch this just a little harder well he has options he can also play five in the side and it's yeah he can it's I guess. it's it's a it's a, a little bit more difficult shot but i think ultimately he would depending like to, he would like to play to the short side of this five ball and play it in the upper right hand corner he did go up for the side pocket as Alex Brokovich calls it as he sees it. That's why he's here. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. Yeah, if he got better on the yeah. four ball, he yeah. could spin it to two rails and get to the five. Yes, that's what he was trying. Well, you know what? You got to plan. You have to have plan A and plan B. Plan B and uh, sometimes plan C, and also you have to have the tools to execute. <laughs> well, that that goes without say. Right. <laughs> The mechanics, absolutely. Instead of the side pocket, Shane elects to play the corner and the short side of the six yeah. ball. Had us all fooled. Well, and that's um, why he is who he is. From this angle, I couldn't see if five was going past the eight ball, but uh, apparently it did. So um, don't blame us. Blame uh, the player for picking a better, the best shot <laughs> on the table. <laughs> anyway. Um, Shane has all the options. Well, to zero. You know, Mike Zuglin mentioned uh, a real good point. Uh, Jeremy Sosi a couple of years ago really did earn the points to get on the Moscone Cup team. I was really hurt that he didn't get there. I think it deserves a shot. And since then, he really hasn't been participating as much as he did to try to earn those points. You know, it was kind of a letdown for Jeremy. Uh, you know, the Moscone Cup is a big event, and, and this young man right here, and I'm not just saying it because I know Jeremy. I know other people do deserve it, but he put so much time into traveling the country to different tournaments just to get those points, and then uh, he didn't, they didn't, well, he didn't get the points, but they went with another format. But in any case, uh, Jeremy uh, owns his own business now, and uh, I think he still deserves a, a shot. Uh, he's knocking down major players and not playing pool as much as he used to. Yeah, that's amazing. I, I was uh, talking to someone, and they said, well, Jeremy doesn't play tournaments much lately. Uh, how is he playing so well? I guess he does his own practice. And... Uh, he had 
all the knowledge that he needs, all the experience. I like the guy. Oh, he's, he's very yeah, steady. He is a steady uh, guy. You know, he's so uh, steady that I don't think a crowd would affect him, that crowd in the Moscone team. Yeah. Dry. Cue ball. Well, the side is open. However, because cue ball is so far by the pocket, even if he makes the one ball, he needs to pull it down for the two ball. And there is also three ball kind of lingering there by the one. See, he's trying to jack up to because he wants to draw a little. Yeah, if he can draw well enough uh, into the three ball, or even past the three ball, back in the, uh, on the back side, uh, he could get a, a, lo a view of the two. It's still going to be a long shot, so let's see how he can execute it. It's not the most comfortable spot for the cue ball. So I'm just, he's taking his time. Okay, he's going high, so he's going to follow. He left the ball. It was a very tough shot, folks. Very tough shot. Shooting over the rail, out of the pocket. He did get on the two ball, but now it's a moot point. How smooth did he hit that one? Yeah. Uh, and he got he got straight on it, but uh, taking a look at the other angle, uh, I believe the three goes right past the six in the corner. So yeah. you're going to see him just draw this back a little bit here. Uh, if he can get straight on the three, even better. Well, let's see how Shane's draw is. He's, he plays perfect pool, this man, this guy, man. Yeah. All right, he, he kept the angle. He shook his hand to say, wow, I didn't really pinch it back as much as I want. But this will work. You know, you just got to roll the three and just uh, keep the cue ball up above the 5-4. Or elect to come back down table below the four and play the floor in the side pocket. He's got options. What do you think, Alex? Yeah, the, the, the ideal situation would be if he could just hit the three ball, like medium speed, and stay on that side of the table and play four ball into the bottom left corner. If he can manage that... Uh, but going to the previous shot, for instance, he I think he decided not to over overshoot, you know, like n not to overpower that shot and just make sure to pocket the ball, throw it a little bit, and still have a very nice shot. Okay, so he elected okay. to come below the eight. He tried to yeah. get below the eight, but he does still have the four on the side. Bumping the eight yeah. as a, and using that as a stopper is a pretty good idea, too, though. Like I said before, Shane has so many options at his disposal. Look, he plays that kind of shot a lot to the rail and back straight to the where he needs to be. I want to say thank you to Tommy Hunt. Uh, thank you for the kind words, Tommy, and your support. was natural on the six and he got pretty good he's a little straight but uh, it's not a pro it should not be a problem to for Shane to come back to the seven and he doesn't need to try very hard because seven ball is only one diamond away elevated from the pocket he just wants to stop it that's it 
7 doesn't need a position now he can just draw nicely that's it because he got so straight on the eight is again he decided not to force the shot and just get straight on the nine ball here simplify goes, here goes svb he leads here three nothing they should call him mta uh, which is the mass transit uh, in new york because uh, this looks like it's going to be uh, the shane train uh, jeremy sosi just has to hope he gets an opportunity to get to the table uh, don't count this young man out by any means uh, he can get there very respectable game and all the players respect his game the most difficult part for jeremy is just to stay nice and calm and focused when he gets a chance to shoot because he w he is not going to get that many chances so if he gets one he has to realize it uh, greg sabins i want to thank you for your support i just got that email thank you for your donation appreciate it greg Shane's going to look him over, give him a quick inspection. Uh, Shane, Shane is really not one to really com complain too much, if, but he's just trying to read the rack. Uh, he reads it like a Google Maps. Yeah, if it's out of <laughs> place, you know, if there's really something really bad, then he will ask for a re-rack. But majority of the times you'll see Shane read the rack. That's again sign of the pro. Complain less, learn how to use the table the way it is, the way it lays out, the rack. Well, you know what? Years ago, and uh, you know, it always comes up in conversation, uh, this yeah. the racking procedures. Uh, years ago, you, know, you didn't really hear about people creating gaps or whatever. They just threw them up there, racked them. I mean, how hard was it to win a championship back then? You know, just... I, th opponent, I think... I think uh, or was it referee racks? They didn't always have uh, referee racks in tournaments, and uh, uh, people were just relying on... Uh, if, it, if it's opponent rack, um, then... They would just trust that uh, they can get the best rack possible, and th they would just smash the ball, and that's it. And he pulled it a little. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. He, he played it good, actually. I, I, for some reason, I couldn't see the two ball. I mean, am I going colorblind or what? So this is the opportunity yeah. that, that Jeremy Sosi has to take advantage of here. Yeah. Um, you really don't want to let Shane win any games, nevertheless be up on you for nothing. So this is a huge game uh, right here for Jeremy. He knows it. Got a little on the shy side of the three ball, though. He's good. I think well, he's looking almost at a straight shot. And it's a as long as he can stop the cue ball right mm -hmm. there, if he can pinch this in and take the longest shot on the four, then he's good. But he has to put the cue ball exactly where the cue ball is right now. He'll be fine. Or closer to the four. There you go. Now, is he going forward or back? He's going to probably draw out unless he can get around the nine. If he can swing it this around like the nine, it'll be okay. He's putting le a right spin on the ball. Well, then he's going around the nine, back up table for the five. Yeah. And he had enough angle to do so. Yeah. He can make, create a better angle. All 
on the table behind us, you got Jason Shaw playing Dennis Grob uh, right behind us. Uh, you could see in the background, uh, sure, set the break. You can follow the scores on azbilliards.com. Turning Stone Live right on the front page. You click it, and you can follow the score on that, or you can keep it right here uh, on your own as we switch cameras. But so far, I see only uh, um, Jason breaking. So he may be like 3 nothing. Uh, just please check the score. Don't, don't rely on me because we're sitting... We cannot see the beads from here. I can pull out another oh. device and we could open it up um, if I, we I need beads. But I Mike Howerton uh, is actually taking care of that from Easy Billiards, and it's uh, better that you go there. I want to thank uh, Johnny Rosado. Thank you, Johnny, so much for your donation. Appreciate it, pal. Oli, I was just talking about you, Oli. Oli uh, Turkalainen from uh, uh, Finland. Uh, we miss you, Oli. Uh, Oli was here last time, and we had a great time. Thank you, Oli. Another professional player. I don't know if we'll see him for the WPS at a World Pool Series or not. He's, uh, you know, he's. It's, it's tough when you're a working guy and you try to travel the world playing pool that you love. It's really tough to do. Uh, I want to thank Oli. That's a nice recovery by Je by Jeremy. Yeah. He he's such a solid player, man. When you, I'm telling you, and I got a pet peeve about that. I'm, I'm, I was really, uh, uh, it really touched me when uh, Jeremy didn't make that Moscone Cup because all year long I said, well, Jeremy's really uh, traveling this, uh, these tournaments because he really wants to get on that Moscone Cup. And then when he had all the points and he deserved it and he didn't get on, it was kind of a letdown for me, uh, me personally, and I'm sure a lot of his friends and Jeremy himself. Anyway, Jeremy's on the board. He finally gets a beat up there. It's three to one, and that was a really big game. And this is even bigger. But with Jeremy's break, um, he drops a ball. Uh, Jeremy says there's a little gap in here, or whatever the case may be. They're going to have a little talk. Shane's smiling. And it's like, uh, oh. Sorry, the score in the show grabby match is 3 1. So we're, we're seeing like almost a parallel identical picture between the two matches. It's another point that George Textera brings up. Uh, he cashed in every event that year, also, Al. Uh, pretty strong. You know, every time I, uh, I do view live streams and I don't sign in, uh, because I don't want to, like, upstate out. Oh, upstate out, what are you doing next week? I don't want to pu publicize myself like that. So I do watch, and it was like, turn on the stream from Florida, Jeremy was there. Turn on the stream from Georgia, Jeremy was there. It's like, wow, Jeremy's really putting the time in. And now George Textera brings to light that he cashed in every one of those events. It's pretty strong. Smitty, what's up, big Smitty? I, I would I would uh, put uh, if I yeah, go ahead. make a wager here and get air barreled is upstate out responsible for the loss. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm signing a waiver to that one, Smitty. <laughs> That's like a slip and fall, man. <laughs> Oh, Lord. You're quite welcome, Greg. Thank you for the support, and thank you for viewing. <laughs> All right, Jeremy Sosi is in a pretty tough situation here. He's going to try to make the seven, I would imagine. Oh, he tried to make the two down in the corner, maybe? No, he played safety. Oh, he played safe yeah, all the way. He did not... He did not uh, try to do well, it. Well, one good one thing about this safety here is if Shane really wants to take a whack at this and really kick the two, mm -hmm. I mean, with some amped up speed, right. that nine ball, shallot, fine a pocket, doesn't have to be called. That nine ball is wild all the time. Yeah. And that nine ball could be heading up table towards that corner. Mm. Uh, 
it, every, look, everything is possible. I would be very surprised if he's gonna make the nine ball, and I don't think he's going to try to make it. Now let's see what he's happens. He's gonna here. try to control the cue ball of the of the one heading of towards the two. The, heading towards that upper corner. If that five wasn't there, boy, it was that tracking. All right, it's Jeremy. If wishes for horses, then beggars could fly. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, Shane took a look at it, and he knew that five ball was in the direction, but he still uh, thought maybe he can get around it or just wanted to kick it up table. What's interesting, he well, what kicked he it so it nicely that two ball almost found the pocket. That was... Rocky Sawyer, the great guy, the artist that does the caricatures. How nice to see you. Back home, got caricatures to do, but watching. That's the man to see, Rocky Sawyer, man. I'll tell you what, if he's there in the comments if you want a caricature done. He's the guy that does them. He does uh, actors, actresses, uh, you name it. Uh, he can do it. Uh, and he's also available here at the Turning Stone uh, when we're here. Yeah. I, I saw the one that he did of you, remember? Yes, he did one of me. It also, was beautiful, yes. beautiful. You, ne you never looked better. That's another opportunity for Jeremy to to come up in the score. And f at this point, it's a fairly fo straightforward rack. The key ball would be to get on the five. Yeah, he's got a beautiful stroke. Take, check this out. Look at the top. What about the speed? Look, beautiful. he missed the nine ball right to the five. You might see Jeremy hit this uh, fairly uh, amped up here. Unless he can get to the rail just between the seven and the eight. Oh, he could. Okay. A little more speed here. Shane Van Moning leaning over in his seat. Checking, <laughs> Almost fell over. <laughs> checking out the speed of that cue ball. It was a little slow. I, I think um, I wasn't sure what he was planning to do, but if he decided to go that route, he should have gone. He. he he catched the second rail, right? He caught the second rail. So, yes. right. So, he should have be a little bit more aggressive. More spin and a little bit maybe if more spin would get him to where he was going to go cuz would it would open the angle. But he managed just fine, you see? He's uh not a stranger to using a bridge. Listen, it, you, don't, you don't hit it any better than this. That's like ball in hand position right That's there. That's right. That's right. Take notes. This was a beautiful position play. Smart. He didn't force. He didn't d decided not to go with the inside English and keep it on the same side. He just made it natural. Spin it out with the left spin and c catch the second rail and be perfect on the nine ball. Shane is not worried. Believe me. But he should. You never know that. No wonder they called Jeremy the giant killer. He's made. He's upset a lot of big players in the past. I believe Jeremy came in second here to Johnny Archer a couple of years ago. Absolutely. Yes. I'm not it was, mistaken. Uh, it, it was a miracle that he didn't win that match. A miracle. 
Johnny got some roles, and Johnny played great that that year, really great. He came out firing, and Jeremy was firing. So Jeremy's about to fire here, looking to tie it up. If he can make a ball and get a shot, uh, he's got the possibility of doing so. But the man off to the left side of your screen, Shane Van Boning, sitting ever so patiently, has got the opportunity as the cue ball comes to scratch in the side pocket. Actually, I'm not going to say anything. Good man. I'm a little disappointed. I wanted him to to have this open rack to himself. Shane's a little curious with this uh, with this hit here. Studying it just to get around for the two ball in the corner. Just, uh, so he plays so perfect, uh, it's scary. He, he finds it, the smallest opening and puts the cue ball right in there. It makes it look too easy. No, it's not too easy. easy. It's scary. like Dennis in the back, Dennis Grabe. Uh, he's got uh, another beat up, so I don't know the score back there, but I'll tell you in a second. azbilliards.com, guys. Go right to the front page, click on Turning Stone Live, and you'll see the uh, live scoring for that match in the back. Punching this out, I think. I don't know if he's going to draw it back for the five. He did. He drew it back. Score is 3-3 uh, three, three in the Shore match. Thank you. We got uh, people in the on Facebook, Alex, uh, actually updating us. Oh, fantastic. Thank yeah. you, guys. I'm using my uh, uh, antiquated BlackBerry because my other phone is right now charging. So I cannot be high-tech. The only high-tech man here is Upstate Al. Negative. Negative. Everything that I do, uh, I got to read till my eyes bleed. <laughs> I was born at the wrong time. Yeah, but y you're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. Connecting all this equipment. This. How about Shane Van Boney connecting all the dots here, Alex? Yeah, Thank he's you. Thank connecting. You for mentioning that, though. He's connecting. He is. It. Um, Four two now. It's very. Uh, he needs a very little commentary when he plays. Uh, guys, the finals, uh, really, I think they're scheduled for 7 p.m. night. It will be a single race to 13. That's the usual format. Yes. As Mike Zaglin said, don't expect anything different. We're going to do it the same way we did last year and the year before. And so people know what to expect. But it's, it's a fine, fine decision extended match and there is uh, I there is no uh, hot seat guy gets to get to 11 first and he wins or or how, what what's the uh, or is it mandatory 13 standard race race to 13 standard. single race yes okay thank you uh, Scott Gonzalez was my man from the uh, New England area. Thank you, Mark. Oh, the two ball, the four ball, everything starts to jump. The three balls going in the side or close hanging and the cue ball. Jeremy Sosi's opportunity right here to take these off the table and uh, pull within one again and breaking. 
Now that's a big, huge break right there for Jeremy Sosie. The ball that's sitting next to the side pocket, is it a three ball or a five ball? I would like to say it's a three ball. Sorry, what do you... It's the a three ball, ball, it's a three ball, Where? right? Where? By the side pocket. Yeah, it's a three ball. Three ball. Getting old. Yeah. The best balls in the world right there you're looking at, sir. I, I have a, a personal set of Aramith uh, in case I go on location right. uh, to a pool room that doesn't have Aramith. Uh, we prefer, well, I do, uh, to use the best balls. And I do carry a brand new set of Aramith with me. Uh, just wouldn't roll any other way. And I suggest to the pool rooms that don't have them uh, to get them. <laughs> Last year, I got myself a set, uh, Aramis yeah. uh, Tour Pro. Yes. There's different models. I prefer the uh, TV tournament set because of the pink four ball. Oh, I see. This is the same set that they used at the American Straight Pool. Anybody that uh, wants to purchase the uh, Aramith or the Simonis cloth, go directly to the website or one of the dealers. Amanda Thorpe, you're quite welcome. Nice to see you out there. Jeremy tried to get on the uh, right side of the seven ball and missed the six. Fortunately, but uh, Shane is going to jump on this opportunity. And he's good. Shane won this last, the last one, right? Yep. Yeah. I was only here. So a minute. <laughs> I got to ask Alex. Listen, it <laughs> was a year ago. What Do no, you remember what no, happened wasn't. yesterday? No, it wasn't. It was in August. I'm, I'm sorry, August. <laughs> I'm I sorry. Can't, I can't remember August. Oh, you can't remember August. So <laughs> what am I talking about a year Five ago? 5-2. Two. 5-2, <laughs> two, Shane Van Boning uh, on the verge of getting ever so close to the hot seat here at the Turning Stone Classic uh, 31. Uh, we are coming to you live from the Turning Stone Casino and Resort. And folks th that are out there, if you've never been here, uh, another date's coming up in August. Uh, we'll put it out there. I don't know if Mike Zuglin put it out there already. Uh, I think he gave it to me and I forgot to jot it down. I did forget to jot it down. Uh, so uh, we will be back here in August and It'll be nice and warm up here in the northeast. It's a good time to uh, experience uh, one of the greatest uh, venues uh, to watch pool. And a very comfortable seating and uh, free admission for all spectators. Posters given out uh, free so you can have them signed by your favorite player. Uh, Shane Van Boning cracks him up. The three ball found the upper corner. In the meantime, Jason Shaw made another... Uh a shot, on, a shot on the one ball. Uh, the two ball is underneath the nine on the right long rail. The seven and the six look like they're married up down here at the bottom. Boy, this is. we, we might see some safety play unless uh, Shane comes out with some uh, magic. And uh, he's known for it. Uh, watch, um, watch him go to two rails for position. He's going to force through this one ball. Yep. He went after it. Three rails. Sorry, I can't count. Is he 
gonna play cue ball behind that six seven. That's what he's looking to do. He's looking to duck. And he got there. Little chess match going on here. Well, Jeremy's going to try to hit the he's gonna two slow roll. Ball. It. Yeah, I think he's going to slow roll it and squeeze it behind the nine ball. Just leave it together. Just slow roll it. Oh, I that's think he that's a bad hit. He missed it. Yeah. And now that the three nine are tied up like that, it's easy to break apart shooting ball in hand on the two. But you might see Shane roll up behind the nine and play a safe again. Maybe bank the two and uh, stick the rock behind the nine. It, you know, ball in hand for Shane. He can maneuver that cue ball anywhere he wants to on this table. But the six seven is still a little bit of a problem. I don't know if the six goes in the corner. No, I don't think so. So he has two two problem areas: that uh, five nine tie up and the six seven. He's playing. But it. it's possible that six seven may he could throw the seven uh, combo six seven right how about if he banks the two behind the four yeah he draws the cue ball back to married up to the nine no he's he is going to go for the safety this way he's going the other way around gonna roll up on the nine right yeah he is going to play him safe just try to marry it up on the nine ball And put the two behind the four. And he did that with a purpose that if Jeremy shouldn't hit this two rails going after this two ball, that Shane would have the four ball to hide behind next and probably bring the two underneath the six, seven, maybe bank the two that way and stick the cue ball behind the four. But this is a pretty fairly easy hit for Jeremy Sosi if he has a little room between the nine and the cue ball. He can spin two rails into this two ball but you still got to spin it good it looks good he didn't have that many options so ball in hand oh where did you see feathered the nine ball going oh, out did. either okay. feathered it or hit it with his cue stick and it's all <laughs> ball foul well once you stroke you stroke and you hit a ball, it's, yeah. it's, it's a foul, yeah. It, whether he hit it with his tip or he brushed it, in many cases he's on too. But what happened there was he separated the four from where the two was. So Shane doesn't have a, the ball to hide behind anymore. He's going to have to find something else to do. He can now play the two ball, let's say, and gets the angle on the four favoring the left side, sort of where the cue ball is, but a little bit closer to the four, and then go into the five nine and nudge it apart it's risky because you don't want to hit underneath the nine see you just leave it there well you got a little you might have got a little too straight here you you follow me be, yeah yeah draw draw into that cluster. I, I think he can i th still think he can draw and try to separate the uh five nine here but you don't want to hit underneath and get trapped up and uh, that's definitely running through shane's head right now he want, yeah, you see, he wanted to be a little straighter. You see where he put his tip of his cue mm -hmm. just then? Mm -hmm. He wanted to be a little bit more to the left side. There's like a <coughs> calculation going on in his head. And he plays perfect pool. And, and you, you, this is, uh, I mean, if you have Shane Van Boning, uh, a superstar, uh, taking his time, let that be a lesson for you up and coming players. Uh, take your time and uh, get everything measured out. He's going into the five here. Oh, he tried to get the top of the five. Nice try, Shane. Amber Kendell, thank you so much for your support. I just got your email. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for your donation. How beautiful. You see, he did not smash it. He calculated a soft sh shot and left... Shane's going to check to see if the five is frozen. That's why Shane jumped out of his seat. And, uh, he wants to see if it's frozen. And Shane says it's frozen. I don't know if he can safely hit the five ball. The space is pretty 
you know, pretty tight. I don't know if he can go behind, like, uh, between the rail and the nine ball. Well, the eight ball is big going one rail. The eight ball is really huge. Jeremy can spin off the top short rail and back down, but it's hard to that's, judge that way. That's probably the shot. I don't know if he, is he gonna go? Whatever he does, he doesn't want to separate that six, seven. He's gotta be careful. But also, isn't he on two? No, 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 he may, oh, that's right. I think he is on two. He's he made, on two. He made the bad hit on the two ball because he brushed the nine, right? Let's see if he makes this one. Oh, he's not on two. Oh. He's not on two. He's just looking to trap this up. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, I got thrown off track right there. Um, um, what? Well, look at this carom. Nine ball. Shane Van Boney up close and personal. Mm. It's a little too close to the ball, no? Uh, the closer the carom, the easier it is to see. Let's see. Look at this. Look at this study. Wow. It's not that easy. <laughs> Shane's taking a good look at this. It's like a chef in the back of a kitchen. Um, Doing their herbs. <laughs> yeah, just measuring things out. And Shane himself got up and called the referee over because he doesn't want any discrepancies on this hit. So it must be a very fine hit on the five ball. And the referee's got to keep his eye on that five ball because it's going to be a very slight brush. So for Shane to do that, to call the referee for this, is definitely classy. Wow. Shane taking a look to see if he's got Jeremy trapped up there. And he is. Was he purposely playing a two-way? No, no, he played the, uh, the, nine, played the ball. nine ball all the yeah. way, all the way. Maybe Shane didn't say anything. I don't know what that comment is about. Uh, Shane actually called the uh, ref over, uh, if you're referring to that, Steve. Uh, I just took a, back, a good look back here to see what else you're going to say. Yeah, Shane is giving Sosi a very hard time in this particular game. Uh, Steve is saying uh, that uh, Jeremy was on two at that time, and maybe Shane didn't warn didn't him, you mean? Uh, I don't know. I would have to uh, go back and take a look at it because... Yeah, it would be interesting. I, I thought he did not have a shot in between when he was on two. A couple, uh, couple of people uh, saying that uh, he's on three. Uh, one of the rules is you have to let the incoming player know he's on two. If he, Shane didn't do that, then uh, it's it's there. But uh, it's, I don't it's think a, it's his responsibility to uh, notify the player. All right, whatever. You know, it's water under the bridge now. Yeah, We're absolutely, absolutely. But uh, it's just. Uh, but a thank you for the heads up. Pe peculiarity of the sport or technicality. Levi can oop, Levi says, uh, was on two fouls. Okay. I believe you guys. <laughs> Don't kill the messenger. <laughs> Amber Lambert, <laughs> he was on two. He hit the two ball. But the Shane played safe. All right. Is he trying to stay know. behind seven? The only thing I can think of uh, in that situation is Shane didn't warn him, which is the rule. Yeah. Um, so the game continues. Or they both had a brain fart. <laughs> All right, here's Shane on the six ball. Look. And made the seven. And got a little fortunate. He wanted, almost made them both. If he, if he would have made them both, uh, he would have had a bank on the eight. But uh, the six held up, so Shane's got the opportunity to play position on the eight ball now. And that's what happens with that crazy English. Anytime you got a ball that far in the jaws of these diamond pockets or any pocket and you hit the point, uh, you've seen the reaction on that cue ball. Shane would have loved to be a little bit straighter on this, but you know what? He shot this shot here 100 times just practicing. Uh, I can't see Shane not making this eight ball. 
and I don't think anybody would bet against him uh, in this situation also. Fired that eight ball, and the score is six two. Shane is leading. If uh, this uh, match continues the way it is, um, Jeremy will have to settle for the three four place in this tournament. What? No, I'm just saying that uh, the match is uh, going Shane's way, and if it continues like that, it will be uh, Jeremy just have to set settle for the three-four position in the tournament. No, uh, he doesn't have to settle for it because he's not eliminated. He's this is a hot seat match. He's just a winner. Oh, it's shot. a hot. I'm sorry. Yeah, why yeah. did I think? Uh, That's I'm why I so said so what? Well, he's guaranteed third place. Right. I didn't go to sleep till seven. No, eight, eight something in the morning. I was up all night. Wow. That break just echoed through the whole... Crocheting. That break just echoed through the whole uh, event room here. So Shane turned it up. The audience is uh, very respectful. And they, uh, the room is as a huge room as it is. And as many people as they are watching, it's a very quiet room, so... You can hear every sound, every break, every hit of the ball. A little bit different from what uh, all of you saw in the uh, Moscone turn uh, cup uh, match, <laughs> where the noise never stopped. And it's a credit to our U.S. team to be able to maintain their composure and uh, quality of the game and win the Moscone Cup. And you're looking at Shane Van Boning, the winning shot. Yes. That won he, the cup. He was I mean, a the whole team huge, to huge contributor to the win. And, but they, it, it was still a team effort and everybody showed up this year. Well, you know what? It's a uh, it's a hill to climb uh, for Jeremy Sosi. Uh, not impossible for sure. Not impossible. Hill to climb. Yep. If he gets right on the six, then he'll be able to play seven in the side. Eight, nine, will be a little easier. Avoided the side pocket. Mm. But now it won't be easy. I don't know if seven goes in the corner. Uh, let me see. Yeah, seven goes in the corner. So he doesn't need to play in the side. But he misses. He missed six ball. The other match that he where he had, he had the two match two set I'm oh sorry two 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 games ago where he had a chance and he missed the six ball. Yeah, it's the nerves, the pressure, and uh, um, as I understand right now, uh, Jeremy is not playing that much. I'm pretty sure he's pr playing pool, but I haven't seen him in the tournaments this year. Maybe one tournament that he played. 
I got the wrong information in the PayPal. Oh, God, hold on, guys. I got to edit this. What did I do here? Upstate. Oh. Edit. Upstate is spelled through you. I can't, how come I can't? Uh, I'll delete it. Delete that. Okay. Repost. Uh, I'll refresh. I don't know how I did that. In the meantime, the battle continues between Jason Shaw and Dennis Grabe. Right now, the score is 5 4, but uh, pl uh, trying to jump the ball from the safety, uh, Jason scratched that cue ball. And uh, Dennis has an opportunity to even up the score. It will be 5 5. Shane is breaking again. Game number 10. The current score is 7 2. He makes two balls. Sorry, guys, and I want to thank Tim uh, for uh, actually bringing that to my attention. Um, he says, Al, I don't know how to donate to you. He says, because it says Upstate Al, it's supposed to say Upstate Al Pool at gmail.com. I apologize, Tim, and I appreciate it. Thank you for uh, bringing that to my attention. All right, we're back to the match, Alex. Yeah, Shane broke, made two balls. Okay. He has a kind of a funny um, spot for one ball. Um, he can, he, he's planning to cut it in the upper left corner. The only thing is uh, controlling the cue ball for the two. Right, um, that shouldn't be no issue. Well, let's see wh where he is going. The cut is fairly thin, so let's see. Wow, it is. Yeah, it's a it's a natural uh, <laughs> four <Wow. laughs> three rail position. Um, Shane uh, figured out the navigation of that cue ball right between the yeah. few balls down below. Got a little jelly roll there, but he fought for pole position with that cue ball. This was a Cosmo shot with meteorites in them. Shane can uh, feel the grass on the top of the hill right now. shot. Oh, it's like stop the rock shot from here. <laughs> Shane Van Boning uh, about to approach the hill in this race to nine. Keep in mind, it's a hot seat match. That doesn't mean Jeremy Sosi is done. He just moves over, and he'll face the winner of the match right behind us. After 
making the score 5-5. Five five. Uh, Dennis took a quick break and now he's breaking for game number 11. Jeremy is racking for Shane. I want to give a big shout out to azbilliards.com who's been here from the very beginning of the opening day. Mike Howerton was sitting up in the uh, bleachers keeping score rack by rack on 16 tables. Rack by rack live scoring. Big shout out to AZ Billiards. Uh, make sure to get over there, uh, azbilliards.com. It's free to join the uh, website and you can post things that are going around in your area as far as your leagues and uh, pool tournaments as cue ball finds the drink in the corner pocket, open table, nothing on the rail, Jeremy Sosi has air. He's got life. Uh, azbilliards.com, we suggest you become a gold member. Uh, there's still a lot of things behind the scenes of AZ Billiards that regular members don't experience. Uh, so if you can, become a gold member. azbilliards.com. It was a Mike Myers movie, Gold Member. Goldfinger, 007. No, no Goldfinger was 007. Yeah. And the spoof on that was Mike Myers' movie, Gold, Gold, Gold Member. Oh. All right, Jeremy, uh, ball in hand, Alex. Uh, he's, he's really got to yeah. take advantage of this. He's, there's no room for error. Shane's on the hill here. The picture was so clear on that break. Uh, Shane loaded up this cue ball so much that after hitting the rack, it was spinning, and that spin brought the cue ball forward all the way to the to the pocket, and it kept going in, and it, it just <laughs> she was just staring at it, hoping that it will stop at some point. There was so much force on it. I want to thank uh, RJH Custom Cues uh, for your uh, support and gracious donation. I want to thank uh, also uh, Paul Coggle. I hope I pronounced that right. For your support, Paul, and thank you for the kind words. RJ H Custom Cues. Thanks for the stream out, even though you won't accept my friend's request on Facebook, LOL. I appreciate what you're doing. Thanks again. RJ, I didn't, uh, <laughs> I, I, believe me when I tell you, you know, my son's, uh, sometimes handle my social media uh, as uh, Jeremy Sosi puts up another beat. Um, how do I uh, get in touch with you? I don't even know. Uh, uh, is it under RJ Custom Cues? I don't know. Uh, if it is, then I'll, uh, I'll try to search you out. I, I don't even know how many friends I have, uh, to be honest. Uh, let me see. It says uh, 4,981. But I think it changed, right? Then it changed to close to, I don't know, it's usually 5,000. Oh, okay, so there is room. Okay, I'm going to go to RJH Custom Cues and Repairs. Is that is that what it is? I'm sorry, I'm not watching the chat. Um, oh, I, I don't even know how to friends request this. Uh, I... Is it Rich HSU? Jeremy Sosi breaks him off. Uh, I'm not looking at the comments on Facebook. Uh, let me see. Even though this was a very good break as far as uh, taking the rack apart, but um, there was no ball made, so he left Shane with the perfect position on the one. Just drifted a little bit R -R for two positions. RJH, uh, custom cues. Check your private message on Facebook and let me know if that's you or not. Um, uh, 
Now send me a private message back if you can. Okay, I got to get back to the comments. You might be talking in the comments and I'm not even there. Well, this this looks like it could be the uh the oh, Richard HSU, that is him, Mikey Salerno. Okay, then I was just there. Okay, thanks, Mike. Right after this match, uh, I'll take care of that. Richard HSU. Shane just uh, wants to put an end to this now. Got a little straight on this five ball. He might be able to cheat the pocket a little bit and spin out two rails if he goes forward or just uh, draw it back and, and have the angle almost straight on the six to get back for the seven. Looks like he's going to go forward. He did. He went two rails to get a little straight on the six. All right, I just got a message. Hey, Al, yeah, this is me. Okay, Bridge. Got you. Uh, now, how do I, uh, okay, um, Rich. Ed Friend. Ed Ed friend, right? Yeah, okay, perfect. Rich, I just sent you a friend's request. I, I apologize, uh, you know, there's so many things that I do behind the scenes, and uh, sometimes my, uh, my, my sons take care of the social media, and sometimes I'm on it. Uh, majority of times I'm on it. Shane Van Boning uh, now uh, looking to close this out right here. Um, he can draw right back off the rail to the second diamond. Jeremy Sosi will not be out of it. He'll face the winner of this match right behind us. Which is neck and neck. You just don't hit it any better than that. You talk about perfect pool, you're looking at perfect pool. You know, Shane Van Boning uh, making no error. Uh, the only error that I possibly saw was the five to nine carom. Shane Van Boning defeating Jeremy Sosi, the giant killer, by a score of nine to three. Uh, we're not going anywhere, folks. We're gonna allow you to watch the Jason Shore match right behind us. I'm pretty sure it's neck and neck. I wanna say thank you for all the support, guys. And uh, there's also an email that just came in. Uh, can I pronounce the name? Jim Yudishaz. Yudishaz? Jim Yudishaz. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate it. I hope I pronounced your name right. If I didn't, don't feel bad. I pronounced everybody's name wrong. Let me take down this graphic uh, for this match of Shane and Jeremy. I want to thank Alex Barokovic. Thank You're you, Alex. You're welcome. On my pleasure. And don't go any, anywhere, folks. I'm going to take camera two, and uh, I'm going to put it on the, uh, the match right behind us.